You are here today to penetrate more deeply into the unconscious. I am here to help. Because we live such a exclusive, exteriorized existence, the unconscious is very unfamiliar ground. But everything, including yourselves, comes out of the unconscious. And everything eventually, at death, goes back into it. It is very easy to get lost and confused in approaching the unconscious. You need a guide. You cannot make it on your own. Now, To begin to enter the unconscious, we need some familiar ground. And I understand that many of you are practicing artists work, or working in the arts. So that's the ground we can begin with, and also for another reason. Art is the continuous endeavour to communicate or express the reality of oneself. In that sense, all men are artists because all life is self-expression. Now, how does the artist in you operate in relation to the reality, that reality that is deep within the unconscious, the reality of oneself? And how is it that although you constantly draw on it and act out its inspiration, you still feel uncertainty, self-doubt, frustration and fear. I would like you to imagine a dot. That is reality. Deep in the unconscious. Out of it, or from it, is radiating the vitality and inspiration of life. Around that dot I now draw a large circle with a segment, a narrow sec V-shaped segment going in towards the centre. The round circle is the man or woman, you. In the segment is the artist in you. Now this is what the artist does, the artist in you does. The artist backs into reality, backs into the unconscious towards reality. 
that segment. And as he or she backs in towards that reality against the waves of life and inspiration, he or she sees and feels pieces of themselves, or his self, I'll say, pieces of his self being torn away from him. And he sees it going in to his art form in front of him. In a stream of what you might call, if you are an artist, love. Delectable fulfillment. In that moment or at that time, he is inexhaustible, yet non-existent. Now why can't the man or woman in you be the artist? Because the man or woman in you has to face reality. Only the artist can back into it. Art is for the pleasure and edification of the world. You are, you do not exist for pleasure and edification. You exist for self-realization and enlightenment. Enlightenment cannot be attained through any art form. Now I have laid the ground for the beginning of our entry into the unconscious. Would you like to ask me some questions? Any questions? So that we can keep going. And so that you can all follow me. But I would like to say this. <clears throat> because I love God, the divine, I speak the truth. I have to declare that to you so that you know exactly where you stand. I speak the truth from my own experience. I have been into the deepest levels of the unconscious and I can answer any questions about it. But that's not good enough. You must feel free to challenge everything that I say. You must feel free to ask and press and ask and press me. So that in your own experience, I demonstrate the truth that I am and that I speak. For I am speaking to you from the unconscious. And I can demonstrate it to you if you will just be yourselves, be open, be still. Listen for the ring of truth if you can't hear the truth. For it is very difficult to get into the unconscious. For the simple reason is no one knows what the unconscious is by the very word designation of it. But to listen to the ring of truth is the one protection that you have inside yourself. For you see, I am speaking to you. You come from the unconscious. I come from the unconscious. So I cannot utter anything about it that truly you do not know. You are going to recognize what I say if you just listen. Don't put your, put your uh, critical faculty aside and listen for the ring of truth. And that is tantamount to entering the ability to listen, to put your opposition and resistance aside. You don't have to oppose me, for I will endeavour to answer every question you can ask. 
in your experience. So there's no need for opposition. For I'm not against you. And I'm not going to press anything down your throat. For we are here to discover together the unconscious. For as we discover and penetrate into the unconscious, so do all men penetrate into the unconscious. For you are going to go from this room today and you are never going to be the same again. For you will not have backed into unconscious. You will be starting to face up into the unconscious and therefore face up to reality, which you as men and women are doing all the time, but cannot do as artists. The artist does not have to face reality and he does not face reality. It is the man and woman in you that has to. And it is a very terrifying and a very frightening and frustrating <coughs> thing. But we can understand it. And once we understand it, we can start truly to love it and pursue it forever. How does, um, how do the uh, symbols and the, the words and the formulations that you use um, differ from those of any art form? I mean, you, you used a, a fairly striking image just now, an imaginative image, and you're using words um, and your use of those words clarifies, perhaps, reality in some way. I don't, I'm afraid I don't see any difference between that and using any other art form, whatever, um, or um, a symbol, a symbology of science, or, or any other realm where categories of meaning are defined in a certain way. Um, You know that that they are all, it seems to me, equally um, ways of um, formulating, reformulating, working on one's representation of the world that can lead you to reality. And I don't see uh, this difference that you, you describe. Can you can you clarify it? Yes. I mean, are they all backing in? Are we all backing in now in listening to you? Uh. When you, yes, uh, no, I would like to make the distinction, but if I don't succeed, you must keep pushing me. It doesn't mean that you should believe me, of course, but I shall endeavour to. The, the art that I am using now has no object in the world. Every, ob every art outside has an object in the world, it has an art form. I am using you, the man and woman, the individual, not man and woman, I am using the individual, as my medium. But you're using words. I mean, I could say I'm using the man or woman when I do a painting, couldn't I? What are you using it for? Do you paint? Yes. Could you tell me why you paint? What for? Um, well, uh, to some extent it's a personal calling. I feel that I'm here to paint. That's what I'm for. What for? Um, this is partly revealed through the painting. I mean, one, I approach, I think, it, it's a flavour, a taste of reality, which can only be got by doing that. And if I wasn't a painter, I would only have words, I would only have mathematics or what you like, and that would not give that particular um, flavour of reality. And there are probably as many such flavours as there are people. Good. And it's all reality. <coughs> yes, right. Now, now we've got, now we've defined reality. I put that dot right in the centre of the circle, so it's pretty well down. Mm. Now I have, we've got to understand, you've opened up an area there, and we've got to be more explicit about this. We've got to say, what is the first, what would you say? We've got reality, you know, we don't know what it is and we can't really get it together. It's so many things, as you say, every activity is reflecting it, and I say every bit of life is an expression of it. Let us make it more specific. What is the first step towards reality that, ma that all art and every human activity, I say, 
is directed towards. You see, reality is there now. Well, the step I'm talking about, and of course I know the answer to this, so it's not fair, but I've got to do it this way. Uh, there is this first step. Here's the external world where we're working in our art form, and there's a step just beneath. Now, what is this that you're all seeking? What could I say if I could give you now this bit of reality, which I say all art and all activity is directed towards, your greatest and finest wish that you long for every day, unconsciously, subconsciously, and consciously, what would it be? Now, every artist here should know why he is practicing his art, and he should answer this question, he should be able to answer this question, or he is practicing his art unconsciously and backing into it. Now, what do you want more than anything else ever in all your activity, the very basis of your life? It's a rhetorical question, I know, but if anyone likes to answer I know, but you did say that uh, you did describe the arts as in some way to do with um, delectable pleasure or something. Fulfillment. Fulfillment. Um, it seems to me that, uh, that any art form puts something precisely and in a very clear way. It struggles towards a formulation, a particular unique formulation of reality. But it and doesn't it know what it's it. doing. Yes, it does. What it does it? it in paint. But what is it doing? Because it's backing into it, I'm not saying mm. it's not doing it, but I'm asking you, the artist who's backing into mm. it, what are you endeavouring to achieve? Now, if you're conscious, you tell me. In words, but that won't tell you in paint. Oh, yeah, but that's the artist out. You see, we are creatures of words. We say to her, we are creatures of words or we would never speak. You utilise this medium. I utilise it to teach as much as I can, to love. I use words. You also utilise the symbol and an image, a graphic image. But, but I'm saying you're all artists. If, I mean, all everyone's an artist. But I'm pushing the point because I want to get the point through. Why are you practising? Why are you living? Why do you live on day and day when it's so horrible sometimes? What do you still go on about? Why do you practice art? Why do you love? What are you looking for? What is the artist backing in unconsciously? He can't answer my question. Don't you see? He can't answer my question. Why do you do it? What do you want? What's your art form about? I said it was for... Um, I said it was for the pleasure and, uh, delic uh, and the <coughs> edification of the world. Now, if you're an artist, you must know why you're doing it, or you're unconscious, and that's all right. But just to make the distinction, you are unconscious of what you are doing because you're backing into reality. Now, if you were an artist and a man, and I'm not, please, I'm not being, you understand I'm making this point, you would face with your art into reality and you would know why you're practicing your art. You would answer that question as swiftly as I can. Because my art, though, is holistic. Yours but is you, partial. Well, okay, I mean, we're, we're all artists here. I don't know if anybody else understands what I'm saying. But, uh, I mean, I don't want to bore everybody. But um, it, it does seem to me that you've, you've criticised art in representing it as a partial Thing. You haven't yet said, you haven't answered your own question about what you are doing. You've talked about it being <coughs> holistic, but um, yes, but uh, I think all, all art, would, all artists would say the same, you know, they, they know that they're only using one type of symbolism, yes, yes. but um, they're, they're still about something serious, they're about looking at reality. I mean, it, it seems to me that you could also... Uh, what my question was, well, what is the difference between what you are doing and what an artist is doing? You haven't yet said how what you are doing differs, how yours is not also backing into the unconscious with, um, you know, a, a set of symbols yes. which you've got from somewhere or other yourself or formulated <coughs> yourself. 
Well, the answer to that is, I know what I'm doing. I know why I'm doing it. And you don't. That is my contention. Mm. Right? Well, so we develop it, but that's the point. Now, I said, if you were truly knew why you were doing, you would know the reason for art. And the reason for all art, the reason why everyone is living, which is a form of art, is to realize immortality. Every art mm. form is the communication, unconsciously, of immortality. Would you agree with that? Yes, I mean, you can put it many ways. I mean, you could say you're doing it to praise God or something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, I no. think that's... Oh, no, well, that wouldn't be. That would be, mm. that would be skating away from my knowledge of why I, I am an artist. Uh, I would, that would be, no, I, that would be religious and, uh, no, I would not, no, I, I would not, I would find that I'd be torn to pieces on that one by my fellow man who's looking for, he wants to progress every time he meets me, because I put myself up in this position, mm -hmm. he has to be able to progress deeper into himself, and if I said that, we'd be the cat chasing mm -hmm. the tail, it's a lovely statement and all right, but we're not proceeding. So do you see that all of us are unconsciously living our lives because we don't know why we are living our life? Now, I have told you why you are living your life. Of course, I can't demonstrate it to you. But I'm telling you why you are living your life. You, one day, you are going to realize immortality. And if I or the unconscious could give you that gift, and it has been done. You would understand all about life. Because by understanding, by realizing immortality, that is passing into that level of the mind. It's not some, it's not some uh, mysterious thing. It's a level of the mind of your own unconscious that you suddenly pass into and you are aware. You realize immortality. So what you are striving for in your everyday life, in your art form, is to realize your own immortality. If you hear what I keep saying, and you hear the ring of truth in what I say in your own experience, it is inside your own psychology. It is yours, not mine. It is yours, ours. So the artist, in every painting that he paints, is endeavouring to communicate the realisation of immortality in himself. He is endeavouring to do it. And he's endeavouring to communicate that to those who see it. But as I said, no man was ever enlightened by an art form. But as soon as you take the form of art away, a man can be enlightened by art that has no form. And there's only one art that has no form, and that is the entry into your own unconscious. Because the unconscious has no form in it. And that's the, that's the, uh, the difficulty of it, of it. Because when you go away from here today, it is very likely that if I've talked and you've talked to me for two hours or four hours, whatever it is, you won't be able to remember or you'll be able to remember so very little of what I say. You see, because I'm talking about the unconscious, I go deeper and deeper as far as we can go in and it's about nothing. It's not conclusive. But I've got to use these conscious forms as my friend, would you mind, what is your first name, please? John. John. As John says, I have to use the conscious symbols to gradually allow us to withdraw into an area of the what was before unconscious now becomes conscious. And that's what the artist is endeavouring to do, John. He is endeavouring to make that which was yesterday unconscious 
more conscious. Mm -hmm. And he goes in there and he finds, and many of the artists now understand, I don't mm -hmm. want these symbols. I want less and less. I want more of nothing. I want more and more of nothing. So you get men try and I put a stage up with nothing on it. Why? Because of the inspiration, the modern inspiration from which I speak, I am a wave on this too, is to give me nothing. Let me get nothing into my art. What is it? Is it constable that you, the most beautiful art is where he's... No, it wasn't constable. But you'll recognize that beautiful. Turner. Hmm? Turner, Pictures where there's nothing. nothing and very like somebody oh, said of them. magnificent. And of course it is so much in accord with the present wave of the unconscious coming up in us, the artists of today. Get rid of the concept. Don't give it to me. Okay, I give you concepts. I give you. But my concepts are right because I'm taking others from you that are not right. My concepts come from deep in the unconscious, the reality that puts an energy into you and takes away five other energies and substitutes with mine. My images are all right for now. Tomorrow you'll have to get rid of them. But it's all right. Someone will come along and take those, take four more from you and leave you with one. For that is what the teaching of the truth is. To take more and more from you and substitute a right energy. Take the bad energy. Take the doubt. Take the self-doubt. Understand yourself. Understand that, that you are going towards immortality. Nothing means anything. You just listen. And you gradually dismantle yourself. You lose your preconceptions. You start to become nothing yourself. And nothing is in touch with nothing. And what happens then? Enlightenment happens when nothing is in touch with nothing. You have entered the unconscious to that degree where nothing is a reality. Nothing is space that you walk through, the space that we have between us. Well, that space to me is not nothing. That space to me is the very reality of the existent world. For without that space you cannot exist and I cannot communicate with you. So I know the truth. That space represents my unconscious. But I am aware that that represents my unconscious. And the degree that I am clear in my own unconscious is the degree that I will not to relate to you emotionally. Because if my unconscious is clear, I will not have emotion in it. And that means my space will be clear in relation to you. And if my space is clear in relation to you, I am speaking to you with love, honesty, sincerity, you will know my sincerity and the power of what I say because there is no emotion between us. Immortality, realized, has no more questions. For what do you think makes you question? Because you are questioning, trying to find immortality. When immortality is realized, you have no more questions. What is there to question? I am forever. I am all things and all things are in me. I am forever. What's the next question? Could there be a question? So while you harbour questions, you harbour yourself. Did we communicate then? Yes. I think we did too. We're just trying to communicate. What did I say that art was the in continuous endeavour to communicate the reality of oneself? And that's all I'm endeavouring to do. Because the reality of myself is the reality of yourself.